Dear Ones. I am Archangel Michael. Starting a new week, a very important week. Don't forget that on Wednesday, November 11th, we will be doing our global meditation through Portal 11 or 11, at 10 p.m. So, perhaps we will enter a little earlier, so that you can organize yourself and at 10 p.m., we will begin the meditation. You will be warned. Stay tuned. I want to make one thing very clear here, I am not forbidding anyone from anything. The moment is critical, the moment is desperate for the dark ones. So, any ready-made meditation that is used on this day, at any time, be careful, because they are ready to change these meditations and not let what we want happen. So, when I talk about guided meditation, please don't confuse or generalize everything. These are the meditations, which will be done on November 11th. I left a very clear message here for all channels. He listened to whoever wanted to. Whoever wanted to believe believed. Then don't regret it, because it will be too late. I do not want, nor do I ask, that everyone participates here. You can participate wherever you want, as long as the meditation is live, not be recorded. You are warned, then don't come here complaining, saying that you didn't listen and that now, they are like this, this way, that way, it doesn't matter. The weapons are much more powerful, the weapons are much stronger in power. So don't play with the situation. You can listen to whatever you want, no one here is a child. I have already taught you how to prepare, how to always be ready, so that if something comes, you can protect yourselves. Ah, so why can't we do the same thing? Why? What is 11 or 11? It is an extremely strong portal, and if opened properly, it will let in much more light than is already entering. So the weapons that will be used by them to modify meditations, they will not be the same ones that they use in little meditations or little videos that you listen to every day. They are not stupid and they are not weak. So you are warned. Now don't confuse or generalize everything. In a little while, I'm going to have to say a sentence and spend half an hour explaining what I'm talking about, because you're understanding what's good for you to understand. And what's worse, instead of you understanding and staying to yourself, you start spreading nonsense. Look my brothers, I'm not here to please anyone. I'm not here to want everyone to like what I say or what I do. I know what I do, I know how I do it. Don't provoke me. Do you think I'm sleeping in a hammock? So don't provoke me. Either you toe the line or the rules will get stronger and stronger. Those who don't mind will fit in naturally. Now, whoever is just here to say absurd things, say what shouldn't be said and share it, you won't like it at all, because you're going to lose your little toy. So don't provoke me. The order was given. The groups have been closed since October 29th. People come in, many because they are new, they don't know the rules, and many are playing dumb, pretending they don't see it. I see, each one of you, the attitude you take. No one is taking action on their own, it's my order. If the person who comes in and you kindly invite them to leave and then knocks on the door, it's not your problem. She has to slam the door in my face, not in yours. So don't be offended or worried that you're offending people. If that person was warned that by my order he cannot enter, and he goes out knocking on the door, he is knocking the door on me. So I can even say that she didn't deserve to be here. Because it started badly, it has already started going against what I determine. So she really doesn't have to be here. So don't worry if people get upset, resentful, because you took them away. The order is mine. You are just fulfilled, because it would be very funny, for me to be there all day, with a device in my hand, looking at the messages that come in and removing people. Yeah, I think I have a little more to do, to keep doing this. So I need you to be my soldiers on earth. But I like my soldiers to buy my orders. Because that soldier, who is afraid to follow my orders, oops. Oops. He is not a good soldier. If you think you don't have to expose yourself, enforcing my orders, think hard, 
because in this way you are not being a good soldier. So I would like you to think about that. Nothing I do is without ulterior motives. So if some comply and others are in the background, hiding there, so that no one remembers them later, I see that you are hiding there. I'm starting to rethink, if you're a good soldier, why aren't you following my orders? You are thinking about your ego, you're thinking about not being marked by that person who came in and you asked them to leave. I think this is no longer the time for you to be worried about this kind of thing. I'll repeat what I said in the last video, if you're not feeling comfortable, ask to leave. That simple. The army cannot have people who are afraid to do what I ask. So if you're scared or don't feel comfortable, ask to leave. No problem at all. Stay here, because it will be good to stay, but don't do what I say, hey, hey, because in a little while, I'm going to get you out of there myself. So don't think I'm sleeping. Don't think that I have other things to do and I'm not seeing you. I have the quality of Father or Mother God, I am omnipresent. Did you forget that I can be wherever I want, in as many places as I want? So do not doubt that I am seeing each one of you. And at the right time, you will be drawn from the same army, or you follow my orders. This is no joke here. I'm not managing gossip and chat groups. I always said it was an exchange of experiences and that's how I needed to stay. Another message, I don't want anyone commenting on what's happening in the upper part of the Americas, it's not your problem, this is our problem. Many of you are clapping. Many of you are afraid, why? Are we sleeping in the hammock or did we never see this coming? Interesting. It's very interesting that you think it was a surprise for us. Oh. So I don't want any kind of comment about that. Did you understand? You don't live there, you live here. So worry about your country. The rest of the world is our problem, not yours. You have to be concerned about your conscience and your behavior here, not there. What will happen or not happen is not your problem, it is ours. And no one here is so foolish as not to have predicted this. You don't know what lies ahead. So why worry? Either you trust, or else, you are all telling me, that you don't trust anything I said. So why worry, why suffer, why comment? There is nothing to comment. My brothers, if you knew the type of energy that some subjects carry, you wouldn't even open your mouth. So I ask each one of you, who is here listening to me, don't comment anything about this, I said, nothing. And please, those who coordinate the groups, have my permission to delete any comments of this type. Was I clear? You don't have to be worried about what happens in the world. Why are you worried, have you stopped trusting? Because whoever trusts, the world is falling, but you will land on your feet, or have you forgotten this phrase? So why are you worried about what's happening in your neighbor's yard? The neighbor is the neighbor, not you. So. There's nothing to worry about, there's nothing to comment, there's nothing to think about. Either you trust or you don't, simple as that.